Victoria, thank you for the beautiful cake. I was surprised to find a big delivery arrived out of the blue. But what a gorgeous whole cake. I'll enjoy it. Huh? Are you kidding me? That cake is not for you to eat. It was a gift for my brother's new job. Only my brother is allowed to eat it. Sam's new job? I heard he finally got a new job at a major multinational company. I'm so proud of my big brother. What? I heard the annual salary is at least $150,000. I guess he's on the winner's side now. So as his sister, I wanted to congratulate him. I worked hard and ordered a custom cake from a famous patissier. Victoria, I hate to tell you this, but he's still unemployed. What the heck? You don't even know about your husband's job situation as his wife? Oh, or maybe he didn't tell you about it. Anna, you're finished as a wife. Excuse me? If only you weren't a miserable wife. Then he wouldn't have had to change jobs. Don't keep working for a small bottom line company. It took my brother a year to change jobs because you don't make enough money. Yes, the company is small, but I'm a senior executive. I am actually making quite a bit of money. What? How small a company is it that you're an executive? Even an executive director makes at most $50,000 a year, I imagine. Don't be so arrogant. I make more than twice of that. That's why I'm sending money home to your parents on his behalf. You don't have to be so vain. Your lies are all exposed. What? My brother worked for a well-known company, so he has a good amount of savings. That's why he sent money home to my parents from his savings. Even though he was looking for a new job, he didn't have to send money back home if he wasn't employed. But my brother is sincere and kind, so he sent money home to my parents without any change. Don't tell me that you send money to my parents. Victoria, I told you many times, haven't I? I'm not pretending or lying. I'm really sending money. Sam doesn't have as much money in his saving as you think, Victoria. Ah, uh, no way. You work for a small company, your income is low, and you lie without a care in the world. And on top of that, you're not even pretty, you have an ugly face. What? Why are you my brother's wife? I just want you to divorce him. Why don't you go back to your parents' house? I beg your pardon? Well then, don't you dare take a bite of the cake. Only my brother is allowed to eat that cake. You should just nibble on the fork. Hey Sam, what do you mean you successfully changed jobs? I haven't heard anything about that. What? Victoria sent you a cake to celebrate. I heard that you got a job at a major multinational company. If it's true, that's a great story. Oh. But I've never heard anything like that. On the contrary, you went to look for a job this morning, didn't you? What the hell is going on? I had no choice. It's been a year since I left my last job. I'm running out of excuses for being in the middle of a job hunt. That's why I told her I finally found a job. Because of that, Victoria made fun of me. She said I was a poor wife who couldn't even got her husband to tell her about his new job. The reason you left your job in the first place had nothing to do with how much money I made. Victoria thinks that you have to change jobs because of me. Well, that can't be helped either. 
There is no way I could tell my family the real reason why I left. I had no choice but to cover it up. Even if I told them I was sending money on your behalf, she says, don't lie and don't be vain. I'm in a lot of trouble. I understand, but it will be a problem for me too if people find out I'm lying. You're my wife, so you have to put up with me for a little bit. Even if she tells me to get a divorce, I have to put up with it? What? Victoria finally told me. I want you to divorce him already. Why don't you go back to your parents' house? That's what she said. But that's a good idea. Why don't you really go back to your parents' house? What? What are you talking about all of a sudden? Actually, I've been thinking about it for a while. I think it's your fault I haven't gotten a job so far. So I think we should keep our distance until I get a job. What do you mean? Why is it my fault that you haven't found a job? Just because you're at home, it lowers my motivation to change jobs. Excuse me? While I'm desperately looking for a new job, you're getting ahead in your career. To be honest, I'm under a lot of pressure. That's why I think we should live separately. What's that? I've been working so hard to support you since your job hunting is not going too well. And how can you treat me like an obstacle? So that's the kind of pressure I'm under. The harder you work, the harder I feel like I have to work as a husband. And that's a lot of pressure. I get it. If you're going to go that far, why don't we really separate? Then you could get a job right away, right? Yeah. A man who's free from pressure is a strong man. So you'll move back in with your parents and we'll live separately, right? You can transfer my living expenses to my bank account. Make sure you put $1,300 a month in my account. What? I'm paying for your living expenses while we're separated? Of course, I don't have a job right now. My wife, the breadwinner, has to pay. If that's the case, I'll stop sending money to your parents' house. It's too much for me to pay for both. Huh? Of course you can't do that. My parents think I finally got a new job. It's not right that I stop sending money to my parents. So I want you to continue to send money to my parents' house as before. So a thousand dollars to your parents and thirteen hundred to you? I have to pay that much alone? Don't worry, I'll get a job soon. I'll definitely get a better company than my old one. Then I can pay you back for the living expenses if you want. Who do you think you are to say that? If that's the case, we won't separate. At best, it should be a domestic separation. Huh? That doesn't make any sense. If you're here, I can't even bring a woman into the house. What? Woman? Oh, oh no. I mean... I'm talking about a girl I'm job hunting with. There is this girl I recently became friends with. We've been giving each other information about companies. It's not like we have a weird relationship or anything. Hmm. Then there's nothing wrong with the domestic separation. From now on, let's live as if we don't have each other. I won't tell you anything about job hunting, so just relax and do your best. Hey, Anna. When my brother tells you to go home, go back to your parents' house as he said. You can't even support your husband's work even though you're his wife. Huh? I heard from my brother. He said he asked you to leave him alone for a while so he can concentrate on his work. But you refused to do it, saying you don't want the hustle. My brother started working for a major multinational company. He's at his busiest right now, 
Don't you want to provide the best environment for him? What's the point of concentrating on work? He just wants to bring woman into the house without me anyway. There is no need for us to be separated. What a cheeky wife you are. How dare you ignore your husband's request with impunity. I knew I was right to fall for divorce. What? You fall for divorce? <laughs> I helped him out because he seems to be in trouble. If you won't go back to your parents' house obediently, I'll just create a situation where you have no choice but to go back. That's why I filed divorce papers for you. What? What a genius sister I am. Once you get divorced, you have no right to stay in the house with my brother. No matter how selfish you are, you have no choice but to leave. You're kidding me. I can't believe you would fall for divorce on your own. I've been wanting a divorce for a while now, so this is perfect. Get the ugly, useless wife out of my life. Now that you've been served with divorce papers, you have no place to go. I hope everything goes well with your unemployed brother. What? I'm too shocked to say anything. But if that's the case, I'll leave. As his wife, I've been trying to get him a job by the end of the year. But I don't care about anything anymore. I'll leave as you wish. Wait a minute. What do you mean unemployed brother? He already got a new job. He's working for a big multinational company now. That's just a vain lie. You call me a liar, but you can't even tell what is a real lie. What? A lie? Your brother is still unemployed. He hasn't been able to find a job since he quit his last company. After all, he's been employed for a year now. He was living on my salary. What are you talking about? There is no way my brother would lie to me. He really did get a job at a big multinational company. Your salary was too low, so he decided to change jobs for the sake of his family. It took him a year to find the right company. Because I don't get paid enough? What are you talking about? It's not for the sake of the family, it's just what he deserves. He always got sued for trying to touch a young girl at work. He simply got fired for that. What? And the girl was the daughter of the boss. He tried to find a job right away, but word got around and he kept getting rejected. So that's why he was unemployed for a year. What? Wait a minute. I can't believe my brother was fired for such a stupid reason. That's absolutely impossible. If you don't believe me, shall I send you a video of your brother kneeling on the ground? What? At the time, I made up my mind to divorce him too. But he apologized to me while kneeling on his knees and said, I'm sorry, I did something stupid while I had a wife. Please don't abandon me. I have a video of this. You're kidding. When I saw him like that, I felt sorry for him. So I decided to support him and not divorce him. But soon after, he started saying, Send money to my parents. Or, I don't want to use my savings, so you'll have to pay for everything. This whole year has just been a pain in the ass for me. Oh my gosh. So, seriously, you were sending money to my parents? That's what I told you. But you just keep calling me a liar, Victoria. Oh no, that's... And Sam, to top it all off, he told me, The pressure of job hunting is too much for me, so you should leave. He's so selfish, I'm sick of it. I was about to lose all compassion for him, so thank you for filing for divorce. 
You've given me the strength to move on. I'm going to get the hell out of this house. Please, Anna, come back. I don't want a divorce. I don't know what to say. It was your sister who filed for divorce. Besides, it relieves the pressure of job hunting. You must be happy. Please, from now on, take your time and go at your own pace with your job hunting. You can't do that. If anything, my parents are putting extra pressure on me. There's absolutely no way I'm going to find a job by the end of this year. What? Your parents? Oh, they found out all about why I left my job and that I'm still unemployed. And my parents are really mad at me. They're saying, Stop being so naive and get a job somewhere this year. And pay your wife back what she's been sending us so far. Otherwise, we'll give up on you and cut ties. Wow, that makes me so happy. I thought I'd never get the money I've been paying them. I can only thank your parents for saying that to you. Hey, Anna, do me a favor. I'll be serious from now on and look for a job. I'll pay you back the money you send my parents and I'll pay back the living expenses. So please come back. If I don't get a job, my family will abandon me. So what? I don't give a shit what happens to my ex-husband. What? Besides, I've supported you enough over the past year. But you've treated me like an unwanted pressure. I've been forced to keep up with your vein to send money to your parents. I just can't support you anymore. So we can't get back together and I'm just going to say goodbye to you for the rest of my life. I'm looking forward to you paying me back for all the things I've done for you. For you to not be insulated from your parents and from me. Get a job soon. Seriously, it's impossible. It's the worst. My brother ruined my job offer, even though I had almost been hired. What? What's with you all of a sudden? I can't even see what you're saying. Listen, Anna. I took the employment test for the company that I wanted to work for. And my brother was there too. Oh, you're a college student, right, Victoria? I really wanted to get into that company of my first choice. I did an internship there, and I got some good results. Even the employees told me, Victoria, you're almost guaranteed a job offer. And yet, at the interview for the hiring test, I was told, my brother said something unnecessary in front of the HR department and... What? He said, you definitely shouldn't hire this girl. She's the kind of girl who would serve divorce papers on her brother and sister-in-law without permission just because she doesn't like them. He revealed something he didn't need to. What? Sam would do such a thing? The personal department was taken aback by my brother and his revelation. And today I got a rejection letter. I'm sure it's because of my brother's fault that I didn't get a job. If they were sure of that job offer but rejected, that means that's what happened. But why would he do that? Even though you're his sister, you guys are rivals competing for the job offer. Did he want to kick you down in any way he could? No, that's not it. It was just to get revenge for harassing me. That's why he took the employment exam of my first choice. What? When I got the rejection letter, I immediately contacted my brother. Then my brother said, It's not my fault. He said it was my fault you guys got divorced and that he still hasn't found a job. He told me that I should be as unhappy as he was. Oh my! It's like a grudge match has broken up between brothers. 
It was so bad that I cried to my mom and dad. But no one would take my side anymore. I filed for a divorce on my own, so it's true. Don't play the victim, they said. Your parents are as straight-laced as ever. I've been trying to get a job with that company for a really long time. I can't do this anymore. There is no other company I want to go to. I'm not even motivated by job hunting anymore. So, does this mean you and your brother are both unemployed? I don't know, but it sounds really tough. If only you and my brother got back together, none of this would have happened. It's my fault for filing for divorce on my own. But it's your fault for being so stubborn. You're still upset about it after all this time? You're done as a human being, you know that? Huh? That's what you said to me a long time ago. I'll say them back to you exactly as you said them. Well then, good luck with your competition with your brother to see who gets the job first. Then, just before graduating from college, Victoria managed to get a job offer from a small company. However, compared to the company of her first choice, the salary was considerably lower. She was given a large amount of work to do right after joining the company, and she's been working until morning every day. And my ex-husband Sam also managed to get a job this year. Compared to his previous company, the salary is half of what he was making. On top of that, he also has to pay me back, so he is living on the edge. He has contacted me to ask me to reconsider our relationship after he pays me back. But of course, I have never responded. <laughs>